Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we are back in Steampunk, literally where I left off. All I've done is peed. I even took my headphones out and forgot to put them back in. There we go. Um, I have not moved from this chair since uh, the last episode, which uh, for you was a week ago. For me, it was uh, 30 seconds ago. So, all right, let's get out of this chair and see where we're at in the quest book. If you remember, we uh, we moved into our new home, gave a little bit of a, uh, a tour and now we're uh, now we're getting we're going on crate. But before we do that, I see this. Oh, not quite. I want this to fill. I want to fill this whole thing, so I have to come out here and do a little little gardening. There we go. All right, cool. All right, we'll let that do its thing while we do ours. So uh, let's see what we got here next. We have ourselves. Um, <clears throat> All right, let, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself here. So let's look. Let's look here. It wants. It says uh, right click uh, an empty blaze spawner on a blaze. Bla what blaze burners are used for? Why are you talking about blaze burners? All right, I think uh, this part. Uh, this part I think is supposed to be for something else because this is to basically make a windmill and they're talking kooky like uh, some other things so let's ignore this and let's uh let's work on this so uh first thing windmill bearing it's gonna be a plank it's gonna be stone it's gonna be a shaft that should be pretty easy so let's head in here let's get ourselves we already have that so we literally just need this, and I'm guessing it's stone. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Uh, so that, that, and that gives us this guy. All right. And then uh, we need eight of these. So this is going to be andesite alloy, sticks, and wool. Now the question is, do we have this much wool? Got snow blocks. We do. Look at that. Look at us. There's that. Um, andesite alloy, by the way. Let's just go ahead and see here. Is going to be andesite. Now, do we have andesite? Oh, no. Oh, no. We may have to make that underground area sooner than we had anticipated. Um, let's for now. Why is that yellow? uh let's for now do this let's go real quick i mean i guess i don't yeah kind of need it um let me just make sure there's none like in here or anything yeah uh, nope no end of sight all right um let's see what's here stone let's grab this guy because i think it's going to help us out here in a bit all right, let's do this. Let's go ahead for now, because I haven't made the mine yet. Let's go and head back to the old house. It's for sale, but it's still ours. Um, teleport to Waypoint. We're in the house. Let's go ahead and head down here and see if we can easily come across... Maybe some andesite that... Because obviously I wasn't looking for Like, here's diorite. Uh, andesite's always the trickiest one because it looks like stone to me. Maybe not to you guys, but it definitely looks like stone to me. So it gets a little trickier. Uh, once again, diorite. Plenty of that. Now, I think... I just want to see something real quick here. I'm going a weird way on this. Just, Just stick with me. Andesite. Okay, we can use diorite and cobble, which I get a feeling that some of you have already told me. But since we're here, let's just have a very, very quick ankle break and look around and see if we can come across any. What is this? This is more diorite. Okay, what is this over here? I'm guessing, uh, yep, more diorite. All right. Uh, we got stone. What is this? Andesite. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and pick up some of this. 
Uh, uh, all right. Don't need a ton. We'll get, and eh, we'll get like 20. 20 seems like a good number. And one more. All right, cool. But yeah, we can use some of the diarrhea back at home. So, all right. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to hit M. We're going to go to waypoints. We're going to go home. We're going to teleport to waypoint and we're back in our house. Perfect. All right. And then we're going to grab some uh iron nuggets which we have some of already and we're gonna go ahead and because we didn't actually do this earlier uh we're gonna make ourselves some andesite there we go all right so now back to where we were we are trying to make windmills so we're gonna need uh sticks there we go and we're gonna do something like that we're gonna do something like this and we're gonna do something like this and that gives us two. So it wants us to make eight. We'll start there just because of what we got. All right. There's that. And what's that going to give us? It's actually going to give us eight more wool. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll take another eight. We'll grab our sticks. We'll get our andesite and we'll do that. And now we have a total of 24, which is a lot better. So now what I want to do is I want to find a spot. And I'm thinking maybe, do I have any, I have andesite blocks, that's fine. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is good. We're going to go straight up here and we're just going to pop a hole right in the roof, right there. All right. Now we're going to go see what that hole looks like from the other side. Mm -mm -mm. And I think this is very much going to add to the aesthetics that we're going for in this house. Yeah, we need a we need a couple torches up here. All right, so this is where it's at. Let's go ahead and uh, clean some of this up. I uh, get a feeling this might be in the way, so maybe we're going to move this over a block. All right. So we're going to go ahead. Where is that at? Let's grab that. We're going to put this here. Okay. So we're going to clean this up. Give ourselves a little bit of work and space here. I'm hoping this, this should be fine. All right. So we are going to take this bearing. We're going to put this in the floor. I did it wrong. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. We're going to go with our andesite. Let's break an ankle. There we go. Do we have enough? No. Uh, we got a moss block, though. We'll do that. Now what we'll do is we're going to stick this here. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then we're going to take just a wooden plank. We're going to stick that there, which is now part of it. And then we are going to go... We'll go here. All right. And then let's see. Oh, nope. Did not want to go there. We're going up. We're going up. You might think, Modi, this does not look like a windmill. Well, I know. All right. So the question is, these two blocks possibly could be in our way. Uh, we'll see if we can even notice that. All right. So we got what? Um, four more. One two, three, and four. I like the rain. Okay. No, why, why? All right, then one more arm of this. All right, then I think we just click this and there we go. So that guy is turning. Uh, so if we head down here, let me go sleep real quick just because that rain is super annoying. Um, it just sounds like static. All right, there we go. It's, uh, we're getting dripped on. All right, I slept. Go away, Rain. 
All right, let's eat this bread. And then we're gonna go take out what we put in here. And then if you notice, see that little bit of spin we've got there? Now, if we take, say, a shaft, I'm probably gonna need these blocks back to get up there. And we do that. You can see we've got rotation, horribly slow rotation, but free rotation. So, hey, look at that party time. Um, so let's go over here real quick and take a little look-see doodle. And yeah, that little bit of motion, I think it fits in fine there. I'm wondering if we put those two blocks back, if they're gonna hinder it at all now that it's moving. Let's find out. I don't think we're going to notice, but I just want to make sure. Okay, I think that's good now. I think that's good. I don't think it's going to slow it down. Um, obviously, if we add more to this, um, then we should get a, a faster rotation. Um, if I clean this stuff up, maybe we're getting a little bit more now. But as you can see, that tor torch is weird. Um, as you can see, uh, it is moving. It is definitely moving. So mission accomplished there. And then I think we already did that. Then we can do, we got large water wheel and water wheel. Okay. Uh, your first mechanical stress generator, adding more wheels increases stress capacity. The more sides of the wheel the water covers, the faster the wheel will rotate, and the more stress capacity it will provide. Only flowing water or source blocks with bubble columns count towards the power generation. Okay, so it wants us to make four water wheels. Not that big of a deal. We can do that. Uh, let's head in here. And let's actually, we're going to do this, but we're going to need to make ourselves some more andesite alloy. All right, there's that. Uh, and that, there's my phone again. I'm ignoring it because it is not important right now. That did not make as much. All right, let's see. Uh, diorite. We have a bunch. We have cobble. We have... Diorite and cobble. We have andesite. Two stacks of it. Can you just give it to me? Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and get... Because we're going to need more of this andesite alloy. So we might as well make some, right? All right. So we'll now do that. And we'll now do this. And we'll now have 23. Sweet. And now we can put this stuff away. And we have it. All right. We'll throw a couple of these things in there. All right. Uh, we need shafts. That's what we made. We already made them. Uh, let's look up water wheel. So it wants us to make four of this one. All right. Pretty simple. Wow, my game is taking forever to figure things out. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this and break this down. Okay. We're going to grab four of these and we're going to go like this. One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right. We got that. And then let's go ahead and click on this guy. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Let's see what the book was saying. It wants four and four. Okay, that's fine. So we just basically take these four water wheels. I haven't made these bigger ones yet. So this is new to me. All right. So let's take those. But what I also want to do is I want to have a couple of the small ones, and I'll show you guys why. All right. Now, we need water. Um, let's see. One, there's there's some. Um, let's go ahead and make ourselves, what, uh, four more buckets? Because it wants us to have eight water total. All right. Let's get those done and then go fill this up. It's going to fill up our inventory. All right. All right. 
so that should take care of that that gets us some more shafts and some more andesite alloy now let's kind of look at these real quick because i want to kind of see what this one looks like oh yeah that is uh that's a that's a that's a good size fellow right there that is definitely a good size feller all right and there we go look at that okay so that's one way to go which we're definitely going to go that way and then another way which is the way i've always liked is if you uh kind of cut out a hole in the floor here right and we're going to go down one more level All right, then we're going to go ahead and take one of the smaller water wheels. And actually, you know what? Let's go down two. All right, and then we're going to go one and two. Okay, then we're going to take this water. We're going to stick it there. Is this, is, did, they, did they nerf this or is this still a thing? Okay, maybe it doesn't work like it used to. There we go. Why did that lock up? Why did that start to go and then not go? Keep going. What if we have... All right, give me this. It's been a while since I've done this, kids. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get this here. Let's get one going. Let's not be greedy here. All right. So if we do this, it's doing that weird thing where. All right. Oh, I was going then. See, it goes for a bit. Why is this not going? Two fifty six, and then it stops. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to mess with this and figure it out. But you used to be able to do this, and then you could uh, kind of cover it back up. Can I get out of this? Okay. But yeah, you would cover it back up, like say this, and then you could have a shaft come up. You could stick something on top, and then it would run from there. So. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and stick these in here just because they're taking up so much space. Um, and I think I'm going to have to work on making this pretty and work later. This is sticking out quite a bit, but I think this is going to give us quite a bit of power. Uh, let me see, right here? No, right here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so if I stick this back here, there, nope, that's not right. Why would you go there? That's a dumb place to go. Uh, can I can I just get it right here? No, nope. why would you? Why? 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 I don't understand why you would do that. Whatever. All right, so we'll take care of this. We'll do that, and we'll make it even because it's gonna bug me. All right, so yeah, we can stick a shaft on here. And once this is running, we can get some. So basically, we have ourselves, uh, this water wheel is going to be going. Uh, this one, once I figure out why it's not rotating. Um, and then we also have this spinning up here, which are all going to basically be giving power to this stuff. Um, and then, like I said, we can get to the bigger cog wheels. Um, and then we're going to, I'm going to want to go find some kelp because we don't have that. And I'll probably put that out there. I, this may need to move. I don't know. Let's see. Is this grown? It is. So if we grab that now, can I, all right, we got to do this. Let me plant this. Oh, sometimes this, this mod. Can I? I have the rice please yeah apparently the higher quality like the yellow and and, and or gold and diamond 
can't be replanted. They can just be used, which is cool, I guess, but still kind of a pain in the butt. So, All right, so there we go. We have definitely gotten our hands uh, dirty in the uh, Create mod. Um, very simply, like I said, I think I'm going to maybe make a mine entrance right there. I haven't decided if I want to do stairs or just a ladder, maybe. Um, and then I have a lot of stuff in here that I kind of want to... I'm going to kind of just dump some of these things in here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that I want to kind of just set up, you know, in general. We did have a toolbox. Okay. I'm going to stick our toolbox right here. There we go. Got a lot of stuff floating here. Um, but yeah, so there we go. We got ourselves going on Create. Very happy with that. Um, like I said, mining is going to be something I'm going to work off off camera. Um, a lot of crop gathering and whatnot. So, all right, guys. Well, let me know what you guys think of, uh, you know, our progress. I'm going to get this thing moving, which I think will look pretty cool. So make sure you guys come back to see that. And yeah, uh, until uh, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you guys liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. Um, if you guys want to uh, help support the channel and the, the videos and the series and the channel and everything, you can do that by, like I said earlier, liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. And uh, sharing on social media is always very, very helpful. And if you want to take it to that next level, you guys can become a Patreon, get access to many Minecraft servers, including this very one. Like I said, first come, first serve. If anybody wants my old house or if you want to set up, you know, over there or, or just be a weirdo and sit right there with that buffalo staring at me or just be like this zombie with a, a jacket and a haircut because, you know, you don't want to be a zombie and chili. That's two separate awful things. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, go check out the Patreon link down below and get access to that and a bunch of other fun. And then lastly, if you guys want to get your own server, head on over to host havoc, use the link down below. That way they know you're coming from one of my videos. And until next time, want to thank all of you so much for hanging out and we'll see you guys later. Bye.